Christopher's Caterpillars by Charlotte Middleton. If there is one thing Christopher Nibble loved almost as much as playing football, it was gardening. Christopher's dandelions were the tastiest in the whole of Dandyville. They had even won prizes. But growing prize-winning plants was too much work for just one guinea pig. So Christopher was very pleased when he met a guinea pig called Posy. Christopher and Posy worked in the garden together. They also played football and went on picnics. Soon they became the best of friends. One day Christopher heard a strange sound coming from his dandelions. Munch, crunch, munch. Six very hairy caterpillars were eating his prized plants. They looked awfully happy. Christopher didn't know what to do. He couldn't possibly leave them munching his dandelions. Then Posy had a marvellous idea to keep the caterpillars as pets. Christopher and Posy wrote a list of all the things they might need to look after their caterpillars. Little woolly socks, glasses of milk and chocolate buttons, ping pong balls for playing football, mini hairbrushes. And they took it to Mr Rossetti in the cafe. He knew everything about everything. Mr Rossetti looked at the list and made a few suggestions. Clean jars, juicy leaves for munching, twigs for climbing, lids with holes for plenty of fresh air. He even had some clean jars to give to Christopher and Posy. He told them how to look after their new pets so that they knew exactly what to do. Christopher and Posy loved their new pets. They were the happiest caterpillars in Dandyville. They got bigger and bigger and bigger. But then... They were gone. Not a single wriggling caterpillar to be seen. Not a single munching sound to be heard. It was quite a mystery. But Christopher and Posy were determined to solve the mystery of their missing pets. They made some posters. Lost! Six caterpillars! Have you seen them? And put them up all over Dandyville. Posy and Christopher were worried. Nobody had seen their caterpillars. Then an email from Mr Rossetti popped up in Christopher's inbox. Please bring your sweet jars to the cafe. Mr Rossetti examined the jars. Very carefully he lifted off the lids and out of the jars flew... Six beautiful butterflies. You see, said Mr Rossetti, when you lose a caterpillar, you find a butterfly. The mystery was solved. Christopher and Posy made some new posters so that the guinea pigs of Dandyville would know what had happened to the caterpillars. 
And because the posters that Christopher and Posey had made were so eye-catching, they were given pride of place in Dandeville Art Gallery. <laughs> 